I received this comment from someone who said that they stopped fishing because they felt horrible after gut hooking a fish by accident. Gut hooking is exactly what it sounds like. You accidentally hook the fish's throat or the gut. Like my friend here who set the hook too late on this bass and needed my help getting it out. Got it. In this video, I'll show you how to remove a gut hook if it happens, but you can actually prevent gut hooks from happening in the first place. If you're fishing with bait, use a circle hook. Circle hooks are literally designed to prevent gut hooks. They have a point facing inward, so when the fish takes the bait and swims off, it moves freely in their mouth and catches the lip. I use these size 10 PKK circle hooks. I'll link them below. Unfortunately, circle hooks aren't foolproof, so if you do have a fish that's hooked pretty deep, use hemostats or Kelly's. Here's what you need to do. Pretend this green rag is a gut hooked bass. If I were to just rip as hard as I could, the barb would do some serious damage to the fish's interior. What you should do is take scissors and clip as closely as you can to the eye of the hook, then use your Kelly's and feed the hook out on the side closest to the eye. It takes practice, but that's all there is to it. Got it. Fins are moving. 